Bad managers are the reason that people are leaving your companies to employers. So it's not that they're necessarily bad people. It's that the company didn't train them on how to be a manager. So let me explain. My name is Matt, I work in employment, and over the years I have seen companies lose a lot of people for a lot of different reasons, but really it comes down to two primary reasons once you get rid of everything else. One is that they're either not paying enough or in combination with that, they didn't train the managers that they promoted. So to help everybody understand why this happens, I'm gonna explain a scenario that's not mine, it's been around for a lot of years, but it's commonly used to explain to people how people get promoted that aren't always the right people. So let's say you have someone that's running a business and eventually at some point, they have to go out and get new business. They have to go make new contracts, um, you know, meet new folks, they have to line up new deals. And usually the person that started the business is the best person to get out there and sell the business. So in order to do that, they have to promote somebody to manager. Now, when they do this, we run into a scenario called the widget maker scenario. So whatever widgets your business makes, whether it's tires or toys or financial services or whatever you guys sell in order to make money for your business, you have to promote somebody. So the mistake that companies make systemically over and over and over is that they promote someone guys that is the best widget maker they're like this person can really make these widgets put them over all the other widget makers and they'll teach them how to do it what does that person have absolutely no training at that point to do manage people which is literally the job that you are putting them in yes they can teach other people to make widgets but when employee complaints come up, when people don't get along, when people need schedules changed, when people have all kinds of issues, which is the reason that I even have a job in HR is because people are always gonna have issues with each other, right? That manager is completely unequipped with how to handle them. So that manager's only interest might be, this is how you make widgets, go and do it and stop complaining. So when people get disjointed about anything, whether it be their pay, their PTO, how people get along, whatever else happens to be going on in the business and those people's lives, that person is completely unequipped with how to handle it. So what's the solution? Do not promote a manager without training them. Businesses just assume that if someone is good enough to be a manager, that they're good enough to go forward without training them at all. Well, they have received no training whatsoever on how to take care of these people. They just know how to make the widgets. So how do we fix this? Well, the first thing is, is that somebody has to be responsible for training the manager on how to do all of the people things that come with the position. And as things come up, this manager has to have a resource that they can then go to and talk to about this. So this happens all the time in sales to everybody. So what I'm talking about in sales is this. You'll have the best salesman. So they're like, Bob is killing it for us. Bob is the one that's gonna lead all the other salesmen. He's, he's the lead. So they put him in charge of the salesman. Well, Bob knows how to sell for himself, but Bob doesn't necessarily have any idea how to train other people on how to be successful at sales. He might have some intangible things. Bob might be tall and might have a great voice and Bob you know, might be handsome. And those things might all contribute to the reason that Bob is great at sales. And none of those things are even skills that Bob developed. So there's, there's things that can't be trained into people and um, things that we don't get to choose that do contribute to our success, whether we wanna admit it or not. So what happens in the workplace then is you go, all right, so if you have that lead salesman and he's teaching other people how to be successful in their sales, then you also have taken your lead salesman off the floor so your sales have decreased with the hope that you'll be able to make up from the other salespeople that weren't as gifted what this lead salesman does. So what's the fix to this? What's the solution going forward? Well, number one, if we're talking about the salesman, don't promote the best salesman out of the sales position, promote the best leader of people. Same thing with the widget maker scenario. Don't promote the best widget maker. Make sure that the person that you promote is a person that can get along with other people. 
And by the way, then you don't lose the production of your best widget maker on the floor. This is the most common mistake that businesses in America are making right now, is promoting the wrong people based on the fact that they have the highest performance instead of them being the best at leading people because that's the new role that they're going to have. And this shouldn't even need to be said, right? It seems like it would be common sense, but it happens across businesses in America and the world all day, every day, because people don't think about that. So companies, if you're going to promote someone, pick the best person to lead people, not the best person at their current role. You not only might lose the production or sales from the role that they're in, but the skills that they have might be intangible and untransferable to other people, and then you're gonna have a lot of problems. Not only that, but let's also be a little bit more honest with ourselves about how American society is, especially at work right now. And that means that a lot of times the person that is the lead salesman or the lead producer is a person that's very individually driven. It doesn't mean they have any team skills whatsoever. So also consider that does the person that you're gonna promote into this have great team skills because if they don't you're just asking for a whole host of problems so again people don't really leave companies if you're real about it they really leave a manager that they have a bad experience with the majority of the time now there's one-offs people can get a great role from from somebody that they know they can you know um, see some opportunity start their own business whatever it happens to be that stuff happens the market moves you have to keep up on pay but really people don't really start looking for more pay most of the time unless their experience with their manager is bad am i wrong do people leave companies instead of managers tell me if you guys think that i'm on the wrong track here let me know i'll see you guys in the next one